Ambassador Katu, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. This week we've seen the latest development in Syria, Assad loyalists attack the U.S. Embassy and the French Embassy, and I believe the U.S. Ambassador's residence. Um, this in response to both ambassadors' visit to uh, Hama on Friday, which many credit with having kept the day, with having kept the day nonviolent. Um, have we reached a tipping point in relations with Syria? Uh, and and what do you believe the U.S. will do at this point? Well, actually, I think a lot of people are surprised that we haven't gone further in, uh, quote, delegitimizing uh, President Bashar al-Assad than we have. So it's hard to say when we get to the tipping point, because some people would have guessed that we should have already uh, been there. Now, some weeks ago, uh, I think either the President or Secretary Clinton said that either he should, uh, you know, lead reforms or get out of the way, which is a polite way so to speak, of saying leave, but uh, since presidents don't normally just get out of the way. Uh, but nevertheless, we have not clearly called uh, for an end to the Assad regime. We've asked for him to uh, uh, change his behavior, lead reforms, uh, but there's no evidence uh, indicating that he's uh, willing to do this. So then the question arises, why has the U.S. administration uh, not called for his removal. Well, let, let's step back for a minute because this attack, I, I don't know Damascus, but I presume there is good, adequate security around the embassies and the, the residents. Could this attack have taken place without help or without a go-ahead or, or it, are these buildings accessible? Well, these buildings are somewhat accessible, but they're in a area of Damascus uh, in which a lot of high-level officials live, including the president of Syria's mother. Uh, so no, there is no way that a mob can spontaneously form and uh, attack those buildings without the encouragement uh, and incitement of, from the uh, regime authorities and then the acquiescence of the security services. And I, I believe that's exactly what happened. Are these paid by the government? Are these the people who are in the high-level jobs that, that stand to benefit? Well, you're right. There is sort of a rent-the-mob uh, <laughs> psychology uh, and, uh, with all of this. You have a lot of people who are Ba'ath Party members. You have a lot of people who are government employees. Uh, you have people, well, students on scholarship and the like. Mm. And so if somebody says, we want you to march on the U.S. Embassy, and we're giving you the day off to do it, well, it would probably be a good idea uh, to show up for the uh, event. What action do you think the U.S. can take, and what are the options? The actions the U.S. can take are largely an international for. Um, and there are actions that we haven't taken that we still could take. But we've been working with the EU on sanctions, and I think the EU, the European Union, has been very good about putting additional sanctions on senior regime officials who keep uh, Bashar al-Assad in power, such as his brother Maher, and making sure they can't uh, tap bank accounts in Europe or they can't travel uh, to EU countries uh, and the like. It's been suggested that these are crimes against humanity that are being committed, and thus if uh, the U.S. or others could go to the International Criminal Court and try to get an indictment, much as happened with uh, Muammar Gaddafi in uh, Libya. Although, in my opinion, one of the reasons that the U.S. administration has not come out with even, even more forcefully against Assad is, A, they don't want to take ownership of this situation. We don't want the Syrian people to believe that we are going to be the, the horsemen on the well, the knight on the white horse that comes in to save them. Uh, we have our hands full elsewhere, thank you. Uh, and by the way, the Syrian people have not asked for that in any case. Uh, and secondly, I think there is some concern, at least in parts of the administration, that we don't know really who will emerge as the leaders of this movement. Ambassador Katouf, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for asking.